morning everybody take a look at this couple of fish that Ant gave me Ant caught this a few weeks back and it's been in the freezer he's already eaten the belly bit but he very kindly generously gave me the wings and the head and there's heaps of meat here so I'm gonna just show you how I normally process a couple of fish for consumption this cuttlefish still has the cuttle bone so I normally cut from the top and peel back the cuttle bone expose the cuttle bone and once you've exposed the cuttle bone you can, you can usually peel it peel the cuttle, bo cuttle bone out like so and from there on let's say this still had the belly this is what I would do I would carefully dissect out the ink sac. The ink sac is already ruptured in this case but if you can carefully dissect up the ink sac it makes the process a lot cleaner and you don't end up with ink everywhere. The ink is also very good for uh, things like uh, squid ink pasta, you get into that. here I think this might be the insect that's already ruptured but if this were not ruptured I'd carefully cut it out put it aside and uh, reserve it for a squid ink dish so that's how you separate the cuttle bone from the uh, cuttle fish and so here are the wings and um, it's a bit of work to get the skin off but that's for another video another day.